Good evening. We will go to Tel Aviv and discuss what's happening on day five of the war. But first, let's get some analysis of Sakir Starmer's speech yesterday, which was rather uh, taken off the news bulletins last night. Now, the response, the Daily Mirror, well, their front page today was absolutely clear. A Britain built to last. Yes, this is our man, and he's going to be in power for at least the next 10 years. The Daily Mail took a very different view. Not a mention of tax or migration. And fascinatingly, the Sun newspaper, which, of course, has been backing the Conservative Party for many years, big double-page spread, finally a glittering speech by Starmer. Well, of course, the play on words and a bit of fun on glitter, but interesting to see that the Murdoch press at the end of this conference season are very much hedging their bets, no longer unequivocally backing the Conservatives, the Murdoch press getting ready to back and support a Labour government in office. It's what they do. They like to back a winner. So I guess the question is, is he a prime minister in waiting? Well, I have to say, for me, he's pretty blooming dull. Not the sort of fella you go for a night out with, but he's safe. And he's playing safe, because he isn't really saying very much from what I can make of it. But the most important thing for Sir Keir Starmer is that he isn't scary. He isn't scary in a way that for many people in this country, Jeremy Corbyn was. So to me, is he a PM in waiting? Yes. I really think he is. What do you think at home? Give me your views, please. Farage at gbnews.com.